okay i don't know what happened there but apparently uh the hiding stuff was <laughs> was activated on me for some reason there anyways then hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to hillian's hub with me hillian along with the fearsome drakir and welcome to showcase sunday number 57 we're almost at 60 of these where we'll be giving up to four games about half an hour each to see if they're any fun for streaming or just to show them off and yeah we're still with warhammer 40k because this series just has so freaking many games like they really did just a they really just took the shotgun approach to this you know, with the license that they basically anyone who asked for it got it which led to a lot of games a lot of bad games but also some pretty good ones and i've heard that this one is supposed to be pretty good as we see an old marina just kicking orc ass all over the place yeah do i have heard some at least one or two youtubers are giving him a bit of a uh, interesting nickname oh. to his uh, name I think, and... some, I think one or two youtubers are called him captain tits Okay, I, I I think I've heard something about a Captain Titus or something. That's his name. Uh, That's why they call it Captain Tits. They just, re just removed the two lost letters. Okay. It's a sheep. A sheep shot. Uh, well, that that's what half the internet is about, cheap shots. But let's get started. We're starting the timer now. And yeah, we probably should keep a stricter adherence to the 30 minutes because some of these uh, showcase Sundays have gone on for almost three hours. So yeah, when we yeah. hit 30 minutes, that's just a hard cutoff going to be, or as, as long as it's not in the middle of a cutscene or something. Hmm. <clears throat> Kiara, or Gria, Gravia, or however you say. Oh, a Forge World. Okay, yeah, that means it's an important place. A Forge World is basically one giant ass, uh, well, forge. It's where all of the, all of their stuff is made. Okay, Titans. Titans are a big ass deal. Because, uh, you know, if anyone who knows Mech Warrior think that's but even bigger Ew. yeah they need this thing but it seems that uh, the nearest fleet is five days to a freaking month away. Oh, and so they're calling in the Ultramarines. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the reason it can take five days to a week is because warp travel is fucky in this world. Basically, you can start... Uh, when you, it Think like Star Trek Warp, only uh, how long the travel takes... Uh, can vary a lot or so sometimes you can even end up yeah uh, where you want where you yeah. sometimes you can even end up at your destination earlier than you left yeah, yeah. try so, and wrap your mind around that yeah that's more i think you'll be forgetting about the warp it's also the area where demons are yeah it's the taking a stroll through hell to cross uh, to the next <laughs> star system And here we have our main character. <clears throat> yeah, the old the orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. And they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the damned orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machine. Mm, speaking of said planetary defenses. Another way down. 
Rude. <laughs> Did you have to flash us with that thing? Okay, I thought they were a little bit uh, lower than that. <laughs> Nothing like freaking outer orbit. <laughs> uh, dude, you might want to... Never mind, you forgot your helm completely. Oh, that's an orc cruiser. A frigate. I, I have no idea how to judge a, a ship's size or class. Where they are... Massive. They make our current ships look like uh, toy boi boats. Yep. And here we go, because this game is a hack and slasher. Yeah, and also, yeah, even the knives look like swords. Yep. Okay, and these are just snotlings, if I remember the name correctly. Okay. These are basically oh, no. goblins. These are Gretchen. Yeah, Gretchens. Where did I get snotlings from? Snotlings are the even smaller ones. You probably can step on but them. F and mouse five. Uh, that one. I can never remember which button is freaking F <laughs> mouse five. Okay. And stun locked a bunch of you. And it seems that we have a shield. Which is probably good because I'm, <laughs> I need to get used to this game first. Oop. And of course, an orc York ship is a complete and other death trap. <laughs> Oop. Yeah, come on, de kill steal. Oop. Yeah, the, the only reason the ship, most of the ships are working, is because they believe it will work. Yep. Uh, okay, so executions give health. Uh, oh okay. yeah, it does. I think we probably remember that too. I've seen way too many Roger and Badger. Uh oh. A bit early for <laughs> running into a war boss. Oh, come on. Okay, so the red dot means that they are vulnerable for an execution. Let's deal with the gunners, since they are, are obviously going to be a lot bigger of a problem. A reload. That did not ping. And I don't even need to hit mouse 5. I can just... Yeah, it seems that F on its own is enough to do that. Come on. This one, dumbass. Okay, probably should have been, uh, probably should have used the controller for this, but it won't connect now. Okay. Probably something we will think about uh, when the, it comes to streaming this. Uh, okay, I see what's going on. It's F, it's F or mouse five that does the kick, but it's <laughs> it's confusing it for a combination. Okay, deal with this one. Hmm. I'm guessing we'll be facing less and less of these, uh, yeah, bother enemies. Because if you can just get a, a, <laughs> practically a full heal of each and every one of them. Uh, yeah. Eat uh, or rotate it. Probably need to say this is the opposite. You see more and more and more of them. 
Oop. And <laughs> they just run. Yeah, typically orcs don't actually retreat or flee or anything. They typically just stupidly charge forwards until they die. Then again, that is, I guess, why war bosses get so big. Because they are smart enough to not be stupid to do that. Yeah, for each victory they grow... For each kill they grow and grow and grow. So the biggest is obviously then killed many. Yep. Same goes with goblins, though. In this case, Gretchen. Though they, they are the ones that would like to flee. Hmm. Uh, knock knock, honey, I'm home. Oh dear. A big ass door knocker. And title. Captain Titus, come in. Damned orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought any would be left alive, much less still fighting. Mm. Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. Okay, I have some annoyance with my eyes going on. Yeah, so pardon if the, <laughs> the model freaks out every year and there as I try to... And there's not really, not, there's nothing in them, so not really... Cleaning doesn't really help, it's just... Yeah. Is it something with the eyelashes, or...? Could be, maybe. Okay, that is going to make it. Nope. You were saying? Need to useful in you know, the middle of combat. Uh, yeah, you can see the amount of havoc that orc can just wreak everywhere. Yeah, and you've been meeting a lot of them. Oop, bolter unlocked. The, the .998 Godwin pattern bolter is the characteristic Space Marine battle rifle firing self-propelled <laughs> explosive tip rounds. So yeah, basically an RPG that's a machine gun. This might yeah. Place. I'm gonna kill him too. Also, why the hell did oh, this guy not good. jump down with one of these? <laughs> he only took a pistol and a knife. Uh, it reminds me, I actually seen the uh, old version of Space Marines. They haven't changed much, but however, the guns have changed a bit. Oh? Um, basically, they, they looked a bit stupid, a bit stupid before, and the game workshop realized it. And uh, here's the thing they, they look kind of like they do now, however. You switch around where you put your hand and the ammo, so you have the ammo magazine in front of your hand. Okay. Basically, it was in front of both hands, like a shield almost. Looking extremely front heavy. Mm, on the one hand, you would kind of want to keep your hands because to fire, but if you using the ammo as a shield for that, if it does get hit, you're going to lose your freaking hands. Even worse than just getting them shot. Yeah. Hey, they do have shields in this universe. So, yeah. And it just looked... As, as well, it would probably also just throw the aiming off a lot. So, like, the way they're holding it now is probably a bit more... secure way to aim and fire. Okay, enough of that. Deal with them. Okay, I see how it's going to be. Uh, we'll need to swap to ranged combat to deal with uh, ranged enemies. And then just deal with the melee just by stomping the hell out of them.
And yeah, orcs can. Are you wounded? The Codex Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself. I don't think that helmet is going to be much use at the moment. Okay, and yeah, as I was going to say, orcs are basically entirely a race of berserkers. And the only reason that these Gretchen are charging at us is that they are more afraid of the ones behind them than the ones in front of them. Yeah. Because they, they are just cowards. <laughs> oh dear. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that gun. Hello. To know how. Ah, oh. yes. Also, a remnant of hair. A fun fact about orcs. If you ever see an orc with hair Keep or beard, um, it's not hair. At least it's not their hair or their beard. <laughs> Do they just steal beards as well? Mm, not exactly. The, the hair is squeaks. They basically attach biting miniature species squeaks onto their skull or face. <laughs> yeah, of course. Orcs are the only ones stupid and crazy enough to do something like that. Yeah. And they usually eat or keep squeaks as pets or as a method of uh, attack dogs. And yeah, these are Imperial Guards. These are actual humans because Space Marines are just modified so much that they don't hardly count as human anymore. You have saved us. Rise, Guardsmen. You saved yourselves. We thought you dead. We would be, my lord. If not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. Well, I kind of like him for... Get out the upper level and continue through the plaza. The bunker is beyond that. Yeah, like you can see, there are a, about a... A foot or two taller. <laughs> yeah, and I was just to say, that was a nice interaction for many space means can be rather basically look down upon other humans because they think the sims better and purer. I believe a lot of guardsmen uh, view space marines similar to like angels or such, and yeah, they're using a nor that's they're using a bolter as a stationary weapon. So that says a thing or two <laughs> about how powerful those things are. Yeah, the, so, as you said, Imperial Gods do that, but also Imperial Gods that do sometimes think like, why are they such arseholes? Remarkable. A few hundred against a million orcs, but they fight on. Only in death does you what? No, get off my legs. I can't feel my legs. I got to see a space marine before the end. Watch those who fight Dude, there's also another thing. There are many humans that never seen a space marine, so they are kind of, for some humans, mythical. Yeah, seeing as humanity's numbers in the 40k world number somewhere in the above trillions, I believe. Some of them are actually the medieval. So medieval, they don't, they're not even aware there are spa space marines and such uh, to begin with. But they're only useful for farmland. Okay, so they're to... donating food without knowing they're do donating food to a space empire. 
Yeah. Just the, the, the world of 40k is uh oh I interrupted again. What, what happens when things get a bit too big for their own britches? Sergeant, I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. Hmm. The orcs have got that gun well defended, no mistake. Typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. The leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. Voice acting is a lot of flat so far, I must say, though. That was the yeah, it's not... Saw crash near here, I take it. Did he survive? If the horde hasn't turned on itself, it's still under his control. It's not bad, but it's not great either. And yeah. another criticism I heard is people slightly disappointed by the bolter sound. I don't know about which game that does bolter sound correctly, but this one sounds rather mild. True. Yeah, it is basically a, a uh, yeah, machine gun rocket launcher, and it does sound a bit weak for that. Let's see. Yeah. Chainsaw. This thing is basically <laughs> as iconic as you can get for this franchise. Uh, the Mark 11 Hell's Teeth Chainsaw is the close combat uh, weapon of choice among Space Marines, combining terrifying power and great speed. And yeah, same controls as before, but just a, I'm presuming an upgrade in damage. So let's t test this thing out. Definitely a lot more reach with it, at the very least. And yeah, it's basically a chainsaw, <laughs> but that's encased on one side. <laughs> yeah, I think Shad Diversity made a video on it and said it is doable. It has some issues, but it's not impossible. Okay, deal with these. So I think chainsaw is one of the weapons that is required quite a lot of maintenance for obvious reasons. Yeah, the chain could get stuck on anything. The the teeth of it could dull. Yeah, they're, they're, they're extremely high quality metal on those. So it's a bit hard for them to dull, but yeah, you still want to take care of it. Yep. Also, where the hell are those? There they are. Going to ask, did they leave me behind or something? Or did. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. I got it the wrong way around there because I was more me leaving them behind. <laughs> but yeah. This. Those pauldrons. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. I'm seeing something. Apparently, yeah. that's in the hideaway on the avatar. Okay. Uh, okay. The pauldrons are basically mounted shields. Ah! And yes, that's how the squigs. Okay. And there are many different species of them. But yeah, <laughs> Warcraft characters. Could get jealous of these pauldrons <laughs> from just the size of them. I would not be surprised if something took inspiration from those. Oh. Okay, let's not get let those get near. Yeah, do you, you can blow them up near orcs and kill like that. that. Yes, just like that. <laughs> and yeah. I, they come in many sizes. I think the biggest species of squeak is squeak off. It's basically uh, oh, grenades. Small, more of a four-legged squeak dinosaur. It looks more like a reptile for squeak with big horns and all. And of all course, right. orcs put tank turrets all over it and armor. Because orcs, if it can't hold, if they can't mount a gun on it, they have no interest in it. Kinda. 
And they put a lot of guns on those, but it's massive. I think even Space Marine hates to fight them due to how much chaos those fiends can do. So yeah. I think those ones have these shoulder pads that makes them easy to spot. Okay, I need a, a victim. Oh, we are <laughs> getting plenty of victims, but I need one in melee range to <laughs> crush its skull and get some health. Actually, yeah, now you see it's. Uh, you know, see what I mean? You will not see. See less, you will see more of the trash mobs for. You're gonna need them to be able to heal to begin with, for there's so many. Yeah. And yeah, orc ships just always look like they're just about ready to fall apart at any second. Oh, hello. One with actual with an actual second brain cell. I, wait, he's it's a big gun. Okay. There we go. Give me your health. Give me health. Oh. And Okay, I did not expect the you to eat there. <laughs> yeah, so you we died. just get our head caved in. <laughs> you died to a big gun. And for those wondering, big gun, basically big ones, are basically orc veterans. Hence why they are bigger. Uh, let's move a bit back this time. And yeah, because normal humans can't use both their weaponry, they typically have laser weaponry, actually. Yeah, or, it's. As many players I've heard refer to uh, laser pointers. Yeah, they're not the strongest lasers. They're not stronger ones, but they. It's kind of uh, what you wanna can mass produce or not. Those you mass produce are not as strong due to that reason. Yeah. It's a, always a trade-off. You can make the most powerful gun ever, but if you can't arm your people with it, uh, yeah, you're not going to get any use of it. Okay, we've still got a few more minutes. Not too many, though. So, let's finish off this fight, and then we'll probably have to call it. And it seems we've killed over 100 enemies by now, <laughs> according to the achievement trackers. Uh, let's re fill up on that. I should probably do a lot more melee. Yeah, you have Preserve to do a ammo mix for melee of those. Range. Okay. I do have to say, is that weird spot to have your own health bar on? Yeah. Typically I... that space is reserved for for a boss health. Then again I Okay, that also works. I guess in this world the space marines are do count as bosses. Where is your commander? Inside, but the door is sealed. I believe they will let us through. Imperial Guard! We are Ultramarines. Open this door. Space Marines. Okay. Word from the second recce. Another horde of the Greenskins are headed here from the south. Damn correction, stick a knife and sword through those doors. Yeah, you can see just how many guardsmen there are, and uh yeah, their general strategy is more throw meat into the grinder until it jams than anything else. Oh, hello there. Thank 
Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts <laughs> Plus, the Necron would get uh, jealous of people <laughs> moving into I their turf. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me, then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. <laughs> Bit of an understatement. Okay. Uh, how are we on time? Uh, less than 50 seconds, so I guess we can call it here. All right. Quick mission. Yeah, I, I could see us streaming this. It has story, but I think like much of it will probably be gameplay fun. True. But still... Yeah. It sort of could have still be good. Yeah, we've had a, a lot of strong games in the recent months, uh, or recent weeks at least. Uh, but this is certainly a maybe with a yeah, a less strong leaning towards yes. I, I block it, but you're the one having the final decision on that one. True. Okay. But it can go on the list. Now then. Uh, reset the timer, and then we're moving on to the second game, which is... This one is more a showcase than a try, because I've been play actually playing this game quite a bit <laughs> in the recent weeks. And it's another Warhammer yes. game, but not in the 40k world this time. So, Good old shared. fantasy. Yeah. I swear, do let me watch you play it sometime, for I would love to watch. All right. Yeah, move the screen up a bit, and there we go. Now it should start catching any seconds. There we go. There's a funny little fact about this game, or rather this developer, is that they're currently working on another game, which is set to release in September of this year. And which is basically, uh, the se uh, basically a sort of sequel to this one, only it's set in the 40k universe instead of Warhammer. But it wouldn't be not a sequel, more a sibling yeah. gameplay wise they're not set in the same universe they're, they're Warhammer but 40k and fantasy have not been in the same universe since third edition I think hmm. and by that I mean further second edition Sigma are supposed to be in corruption your empire is aflame with heresy the faithful perish and the wicked multiply. If I'm going to get a copyright strike, it's probably this, because this is a trailer as well. Blessed Sigma, lend me your strength. Grant me the will to purge the corrupt, to smite the heretic, to bring hope when hope is lost. By the comet and the hammer, I pledge to the coming battle. I vow not to waver and never retreat. To stand tall against the flames of perdition. To drive back the shadow of chaos with your holy light. Finish praying, have you? Where is your patience, Master Dwarf? Have I ever let you down? Victory favors the faithful. Let us teach them fear. For Sigma and the Empire! Yeah, this game actually still gets updates, even though it's already a good few years old. <laughs> Bloody heck. Right, as I say, in 2nd and 3rd edition, Sigmar was supposed to be a space marine of the Ultramarines. Okay. 
but yeah, I, I was only surprised to find out that this game still gets updates because whilst I was playing it, they updated to 4.6 and changed the interface a bit with uh, equipment and such. But first off, uh, let's actually show the prologue to the rest of this. Sure. Because, well, we are going to... No, we don't need that. We've already seen that. We are going to play... We can play this for story because there is an actual story going on here. So, yeah. If slash when we eventually get this game, we'll probably be... Uh, we'll be playing this in the, these missions in order. Possibly with other players if I can find them. Yeah, dude, it has bots you can use as well, right? True. I hope the bots are not, you know, dumb. They're yeah, not too stupid, yes. And yeah, a bit of a start <laughs> locked in a freaking cage. All I think I know we are definitely an impure human or possibly Telebeckland? Well, we know where we are though, <laughs> deep in the shit, because this is all Skaven shit. <laughs> yeah, if we put. drop into a cave. They've got teleportation technology. Well, trying is it is probably the correct word. And yes, with Skaven tech, it tends to fall apart a bit. <laughs> and the FPS there dunked yeah. quite a bit. <laughs> I can't really blame that because this I have the game set at I believe its highest graphics. Uh, let me just uh, video. Yeah, maybe okay, good. not highest, but still high. Two. All right. And yeah, we're playing as Marcus Kruber, an Empire soldier. Yeah, that explains for tall is I think. Okay, if I'm remembering right, tall is the god, a uh, nature god in the Empire. Don't need yeah. one anymore, mate. Of the hunt. And yeah, simple combat. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> this game, this game at its uh, most boiled down, could be described as a left for Warhammer. and free already. I was just about to help you with that cage. What, Alicia? Yes, it's me. I'm here to help you escape. And with the skipper gate shaking up this place, the time is now. Yeah, all right, but... You were on your way to being sacrificed, so you can thank me later. <laughs> now go, find the others. I have work to do. Who is that? Hello? Basically a witch that is helping the crew. Uh, I haven't found too many explanations in game of specifically what she does because this game is a sequel so the uh, the first game probably would have gone a lot more into that she she sounds like a kislevite oh blocking yeah wait she's a kislevite uh, i i don't know I, <laughs> you would be better at identifying that uh, we will find her oop, later yeah, they all, only was it guess might have kissed with like accent is or maybe Ostermark and Ostland. It still sounds sweet for me to say. 
Okay, heavy attacks. Two. Charged him up. Oh, you're awesome. And yeah, as you can see, things can get quite bloody. Bloody heck. Yeah, literally. And there's the second character that we could play as. <laughs> Why am I in a cage? <laughs> Still have no idea what a Zoomgi specifically means, but I believe it's probably something like friends. And yet we have special Nobody. abilities. I don't sure. The Omgi is human. Nobody but us. Wait, wait, was it E with, with the E with the C? Uh, A Azumgi, A Z Umgi. Uh, he, he only refers to Kruber like that, I believe. If I. Okay, if I say that spelling it right again, if it's just A and D, it's a set, you know, snore. Yeah. First and last. It, it means axe. So is he calling you an axe human? Or axeman, but we're using a hammer. <laughs> okay, and yep, we have. Unless uh, you used to be a lombiac. Uh, the weapon that Kruber is most known for is a halberd, so I guess that makes sense in a way. And yeah, we'll only have limited amounts of oh, ammunition through the game. Okay, this is a yeah, case of Rocky. <laughs> they are just shallow in the dwarf. <laughs> yeah, the Skaven are you know, referred to as Rocky by the dwarf. And yeah, we <laughs> we can carry those around and we can set them off by giving them a bit of a love tap. Love tap. Okay, armored enemies cannot be damaged by certain attacks. Shield icons indicate that no damage has been dealt. Target weak spots or use armor piercing weapons. Because that up there right. is a chaos warrior. And you can see from all of that armor, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, want to know a fun fact about chaos armor? Hmm? It's for use to the bodies. Ah, that explains a thing or two. And isn't all yes. too surprising, actually. Yeah, they're basically gifted by the Chaos Gods. The only ones that can manufacture Chaos Armor that will melt on onto you without getting it from Chaos Realm are the Chaos Dwarves. There we go. Let's lower the FPS, lower the graphics somewhat. Uh, just to make things go a bit smoother. And yeah, we can shove enemies away. They're not cost stamina, which is you know, signified by these shields. If we run out of that whilst blocking, uh, yeah, our block breaks and we start taking damage again. <clears throat> Still a bit stuttery. Yeah, burden is uh, <laughs> something. Yeah, and just like in Left for Dead and such, you can actually revive your allies should they come to fall down like that. <laughs> Is that bandages over there? Aye, I'll fetch them. Have to patch you up. <laughs> that did the trick. Uh, yeah, Thank healing supplies can be used on you or used on the other. The okay, he's... If I understand what little dwarf I know, I think he's calling on Axeman. Okay. Unsure Wait. in what context, though. 
Yeah, probably because he mostly used halberds, I believe. Do count his axes. Ooh. <laughs> and here's character number three. Hi, I heard ya. Did Alicia help you out? Hey, she did. She set nope. up some kind of portal for us on the surface. One eye is already there. And Sienna? Alicia. So, was it to match you? And yeah, that's a storm vermin. And there's a reason why they're big and covered with armor. Yeah, they're the best. Literally, best bread skaven. Okay, a lot of supplies. And yes, people, yeah. skaven do that. And horrifying sounds. The famous skavens are huge and not very movable, so they actually sell the theme of the species for the best breeding stock. It's kind of horrifying. Yeah, they, they are, they, they are, the Skaven are a species directly related to chaos, so of course things are going to be uh, squeaky All with them. Sounds, People are unsure if they're related to chaos, but they are very close uh, aligned to it in you know, some way. Here's character number four, who's Sadly, doesn't get a bit of an intro here. And the fire maid Sienna. And yeah, I didn't introduce speak her name, but Kirillian the, the elf. And yeah, being a Warhammer elf, wow, she is going to be. Okay, still some slowdown, probably because the Skitter Gate is taking up a lot of uh, effort on the <laughs> on the game at the moment. So probably also because streaming is also going to affect things. Yeah, I noticed that for all the pixelation on my end. And I'm not having the yellow dot on the corner. Yeah, definitely some slowdown. Okay, the, the smoke screen, that is the that is the dwarf's special ability. It basically acts as a yeah, a smoke screen that's also stuns enemies that are nearby. My oh <laughs> it threw myself off the platform. Is is he an engineer in this one? No, he's a ranger. There is an engineer uh -huh. career that uh, that is DLC though. Okay, I, I had almost forgot they have rangers sometimes. And yeah, dwarves rangers or something else. Oh, this definitely beats the cage. But then again, we're going up a bloody high cliff on a scaven contraption. You'll remind me as Ungi. Racky Ungak's platforms are more lethal than their Ungak weapons. Listen, we're not dying from anything wrought by a scaven force today, darling. Not after this. Uh, can we talk about that? I mean, this, a sonic skitter gate, Northlanders and Skaven together, a leash in my head. I'm the eternal shame of being filled and caught by a rat. Ah, and where in Grumney's name are we? The smell like open right? Darling, one at a time. The more Delicia told me, we have a disaster to deal with. But I think we all had that figured out. And yes, apparently we're in Helmgart. The remains of Helmgart. The weavers in agony, twisted and torn asunder by corruption. Tall's teeth. Back to normal for us, then. Yeah. <laughs> I must say that from what I... Oh, from the interactions, I like Sienna. And, um... It's uh, a bit hard to see from this angle, but we'll see in a second. Yeah, they tore a big ass fucking hole straight through the entire city. <laughs> Yeah, then again, undermining is the one thing that Skaven always do. 
And here's character number five, the Witch Hunter. They don't like him, do they? <laughs> no, he's a... <laughs> he's a witch hunter, so of course they are not going to be too kind on him. But they managed to work together somehow. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that took about half the time we have, so we still have so enough time to give it a, yeah, give one of the levels a shot. Yeah, come on in out of the rain. And yeah, this is our main menu, so to speak, even though we have a menu here as well. Uh, we have a, a cash shop here uh, where we can uh, yeah buy cosmetics and stuff. You can get these shillings by just you know, doing well, daily and weekly challenges here. Uh, though they have it a lot uh, easier with dailies and such than other uh, such games do because it's this if i do not finish this one it'll still be here tomorrow um though it'll probably only fill they'll, they'll just stack up until a certain amount i'm guessing so yeah i, I could okay. just complete that tomorrow as well and here we have one of our suppliers frank <laughs> franz lorna going round the imperial court at Altdorf. the end times sounds fun don't it Still don't know specifically what his deal is with everything. Probably contacts that was in the first game, but is sadly lacking in this one so far. It, it probably is somewhere, but... And yeah, here's Alicia. Uh, <laughs> the pirate witch. Seer dead and Skittergate destroyed? You have regained my respect. I confess, you lost a lot of it when you were trapped and fooled by that lousy grey seer. But with this grand finale, I can only say, oh, well done. And yeah, as you can guess, I've uh, finished these lot. I've played through most, if not all of the missions in this game so far. And most of the play you'll find is through just cl quick play. You pick us a difficulty uh, up to Cataclysm, <laughs> Legend, Champion. I've mostly been playing on Veteran here. Recruit is, well, the easy mode, but of course you're the power, the power of the stuff that you get will be severely restrained. So let's put that back there. As for what the power and such is, it's basically the strength of your equipment and such. Okay, uh, let me ask. Is, is this just a... You install it from stream and you just play it? Uh, yeah, you can basically just pick up and play this game anytime. And so also... Is none of that the rule you install it? You have to do one or two accounts to play it? Uh, nope. Um, Good. I also, a fun tempted. thing. This game has Twitch integration. So well, I'm not surprised. when we get to this game, uh, anyone in the chat could start screwing around with things. That'll uh, be fun, I guess. <laughs> no! Probably for the anyone watching, but probably less so for me. Fancy you know, again. Oh, us. Ain't a game playing against you. Do you ever lose a hand? Also, this, these characters just constantly bantered with each other. I probably haven't heard even half of the lines that they have between each other with Lorner here or with Alicia there. But yeah, only that's, pe people yeah. likes the game so much, but there's so much character in the characters. Yep. And over here we have a different section, the Chaos Wastes. Uh, oh. We'll get to that when we get to streaming this game. But for now, let's just pick a mission. We have these areas, these three, or these campaigns. These three here are locked by DLC. Oh, oh a meteor has laid waste nearby. Time to investigate. Uh, back to Uber's Reich. Alicia needs a favor. Help her find a mysterious artifact by exploring an illusion of times past. And Bogenhaven drowns in corruption. No, if no, only no, there no, were no. a stalwart band of heroes. Hmm? You mispronounced that. Hmm? How would it be said then? Uh, okay. Okay, maybe I mispronounced it. I'm gonna pronounce it as a sweet problem here. Uh, Bergenhafen? Okay, that would somewhat translate to Burger's ha Harbor or something. Or Citizens yeah, Harbor. 
Here's, here's a one problem though. If you spell it B -E, the the with O with two dots and G, you just say Berg, it is basically Swedish for gay. Okay. So I'm unsure what they actually mean here, for it probably means something else here, I suspect. Uh, for... I think I've done most of these. But here's the thing. The Empire is very, very much the Roman Empire during when the Roman Empire was in Germany, basically. Okay. Hence, but it sounds very German, mm. and the Dutch are there as well as Marienburg. Okay, let's give the first level a shot, but let's also swap over to one other character that I haven't played this mission is. Oh, someone else jumped in, it seems, as Sienna. We're going as Victor Saltspire, and yes, that literally means stick of salt or something like that. Uh, the Witch Hunter. And yeah, there's someone else who jumped in. <laughs> and there comes another one. A great big flaming ball of death in the sky. I'm for it. And what of the theological considerations? What of them? Yeah. These characters have... Sometimes you have just banter between two of them. Sometimes as uh, groups of three or uh, maybe even four. And Okay, someone's joined as Carillion. Also... Do you really plan on spending the rest of your short life under one eye's thumb? Uh, well, that's not. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that may either eager them or frighten them. <laughs> and here comes someone as Kruber, as one of the alternate classes. As you could see, there were multiple careers to pick from. a good shot at gaining some proper information about the Skidder Gate. She's going into Helmgard, and so are you. Difference is, she'll be sneaky, and you'll be loud. Provide a distraction by ringing the bells at the Temple of Sigmar. Let's allow the old woman to work in peace. Another fun thing, these intros could be done by any of the characters, to my knowledge. I'm not sure about Alicia. Probably Alicia as well. So yeah, that that's seven possible in, uh, intros to a, a mission like that. And they each, of course, deliver the lines different. Well, they, they have their own lines with it. <laughs> But yeah, I said this is definitely easy on the streaming list. But I think I heard it's very good story, voice acting, and good gameplay. And I don't know about you lot, but I'm feeling particularly distracting today. The main approach to the temple is cut. This will be no easy climb. Sienna is just unashamedly herself. <laughs> But yeah, we're armed with a, a rapier, which is not as good on defense, but very good uh, on offense. Um, each character has a passive, and well, each career has a passive, and the current one that I have equipped on Victor is crit-based, and I ha all of his equipment that he has uh, attached also is crit-based, in either giving more crits or giving more powerful crits. So, yeah, I'm a bit of a glass cannon like this. And... Oh, yeah. dear. Yeah, there's also a leveling system in this game. With the max being 35, I believe. And up to 30. For every five levels, you get a, you, know, you get to pick a talent from a, a choice of three. And, yeah, each... You know, there are some similarities here and there, and that was... Oh, already we're heading... Oh, that's a special one. That's the hook rat. Basically, they'll they'll grab a, a character and try to drag them off somewhere. But that's... Ooh. Yeah, that sound. Uh, yeah, that's a storm fiend. That's basically the Hulk if... Uh, oh, well, so there's another, another strangler. Uh, I'm going to rush ahead a bit. Oh, he, it ran off with... Okay, that's a bit of a problem, because now we're split off. Uh, be there we go. Uh, oh, oh, too late. Fuck. Uh, oh, come. oh, come on. They just plain old bull bailed on that. Okay. Uh, Is there missing here? People don't like Storm Fiends? Uh, more the, the fact that they got killed there. They're just being a sore loser. 
Uh, storm fiends. Yeah, that's a that was a, that's a big ass rat. And oh, come on, another one. Uh, yeah, it's very much an elite version of uh, rat ogres, except yep. unlike normal rat ogres, there's an extra rat on their uh, back, providing yeah. extra brain power. Uh, as, as you can see, it has freaking flamethrowers on its hands. Okay. Worse, warfire. Yep. Okay. Um. Did he really manage to deal with that on his own? <laughs> the looks of it, yeah. But yeah, this this game is filled with you know, ledges like that that you can only cross over one way to keep you moving forwards. Oh. And uh, yeah, Saltspire, or at least the Witch Hunter career, is very based on headshots and crits. Uh, as I get headshot crits by just slashing them in the face and such, I get temporary health, which is the white part in the health bar. So yeah, if, if you can keep on the offensive and keep accurate, which well isn't too hard if you can just find the angle at which their heads are <laughs> compared to you. You can get a lot of survivability out of this. What the heck are these? Are, are these Nurgle cultists? Yep. An entire tribe of them. And yeah, if All a right, character dies, really... they'll just show up tied up later on. Oh, that's good. And I actually mistook them first for zombies. Well, they're very close to it anyways. And yeah, this rape here is pretty damn strong. If I manage to stab him in the face with power strikes like that. Oh, Globa Deer, that's that's a, a Skaven, oh oh, Skaven Grenadier. And yeah, Salt Spire keeps <laughs> flourishing <laughs> with his sword like that. Uh, where is it? Is it dead? Oh, the, the elf just killed it. In the upper right, you can see special and the elite uh, enemies getting killed and such. Oh, and that was a Blightstorm that <laughs> got killed off really quick. Basically what that will do, it'll it'll hide away somewhere and will summon a, a storm. Oh, and that was another Grenadier. <laughs> Just throwing everything at us, huh? And yeah, the characters will typically announce whenever they hear one of these motherfuckers. Uh, that's a plague monk. <laughs> yeah. These people, these, these five would now at least Victor and the elf would kill each other. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that they kind of need each other. Oh, and I'm so a cutter runner. So it has made my famous for so far is probably Bardin and the Elf. Clearly, uh, and. Um, Kruber needs health. Take that. Okay. And. Uh, the witch hunt oh, getting surrounded. Yeah, the, these the, the weakest enemies die in just basically one hit whenever, but they come out in such numbers that they'll swarm around you, and yeah, then they'll start chopping you to bits. Yeah, that's how so, they use slave uh, slave rats. These yep. are slave skavens. That lifting platform will carry us to okay. the walls. Uh, the, the range weapon that I have, have equipped is just a bra brace of pistols, which, as you can see, is 12 shots before I have to reload. But, of course, that reload is going to take a bit. But this thing can fire off pretty quickly. And if you can get headshots with it, because, as, again, this thing is also just statted for headshots and crits, it'll do a lot of damage. It can actually take out a pack of storm vermin if, you're, if my aim is good. Oh, shielded enemy. Gotta break their guards. Or break their shields. Yep. The leeches are like smokers in Left 4 Dead. 
Uh, the gutter runners are like the hunters. Or, or at least the, the jumpy motherfuckers. And yeah, the leeches, they, they will grab someone, pull them towards them, and then suck them dry of their life force. Um, let's see. Yeah, leech, we've got... Uh, the gutter runners, the, assa the assassin ones. Oh, that's the half hour mark, but we're still in the middle of this. So this one can go on a bit longer. It shouldn't uh, take mean? only like 10 minutes. All right. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to go and throw some food into the machine. Okay. And... Yeah. Can you hear more coming? Drums the size of your swollen egos. <laughs> The yeah, these guys are practically always at each other's throats. Anyways, yeah, we have elite enemies, we have special enemies. Uh, the el elites won't get announced, but they will get uh, a little pop-up in the corner if they get killed. It's typically basically just stronger enemies, like the, the rats, yeah, the plague monks from before, the, the, the rats in robes. <laughs> Oh, and that's the sound that a horde is coming. So, best to find some choke points. <laughs> Still getting a bit of slowdown. Hmm. Okay. Gotta keep moving. And there was some health back there, but I guess we'll be going to miss that. <coughs> oh, shield. It's not going to do OBS thing too much frame rates, is it? But I think I've seen it sometimes for open going saying 400 FPS or something. Now, I, it's probably OBS and VC face as well. That that does take a bit from my processor. Uh, but in other games, it doesn't affect things as much. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how things could be improved much. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Oh. There we go, just block that. Blocking is very important for staying alive. If, because eventually, as quickly as you can cut them down, there one or two of them are going to get a blow in. So you can either deflect that. Oh, someone found some arts. Yeah, so just a collectible that spawns every here and there. You Sometimes you get a daily mission for... <clears throat> We're getting a few of those, and no, there's already a dead storm fiend here. <clears throat> but yeah, otherwise, it's just an extra collectible. N nothing of too much importance, mostly completion stuff. Yep. Oh, that's uh, a. Oh. Yeah, most of this. Actual special enemies will have something to give their away, if not uh, just completely called out by one of the characters. Uh, some people have said that they call them out too easily. Like the, the, <clears throat> the strength or the packmaster is very obvious with that sound that it makes, but others are less so. Like that one, we. There <laughs> wasn't a sound. Yeah, I wasn't hearing a sound of that thing. Okay, that's where we need to go. And yeah, for some reason, there's always this thing here. Yeah, we have no need of it. Oops. Also, we. With all of those bags of arrows and such that keep dropping, that's the that's the dwarf's uh, passive ability. So that that's pretty useful with some classes mixed in. Oh, knock knock. And nothing in there. Yeah, a lot of chests are just going to be empty. Now there is something we could grab here that would give us more experience at the end of this. 
But yeah, we're just here to show things up. And I'm alone. That's not good because I can get surrounded. So I'll just put my back against something and keep hacking <laughs> until there's nothing left. Oh, I see you there. And uh, yeah, they're getting hits in. You can always shove them back. You can always shove a group back for a bit of distance and safety. Uh, but yeah, it will it will drain your stamina. So it, unless you kill them quick, they will just get through your defense. And there's a bunch in there. Not as many as I could have hit, but still, that's going to kill a few. Nope. And yeah, those gotta some. Most of these enemies can, most of the special enemies can impair you somehow. And it looks like he is going for the extra thing. The door. And he failed. Okay, I I'll, I'll might as well go up there and try and grab it myself because he's probably going to try it up again otherwise. <laughs> Immediately I fail. But yeah, there are certain books that you can find throughout the game. Oh, oh they got it. Like the Grim Wars, which that cuts down your maximum health, as you can see by the red area in the bar. But you do get a bunch of extra experience for it if you bring it to the end. The problem is, it takes up the, your four slots, which is the potion slots. Now, this guy... Uh, there we go. Come on, kill steal. <laughs> uh, yeah, because this is just a bunch of pistols, you can't really zoom in with it. Yeah, and I think he's carrying five pistols oh. for... That's why he's shooting yeah. so fast. Yes, each gun is ready to fire. Yep. Uh, yeah, this was... That was a loot rat. They don't actually appear that often. And that was a fire rat. That, that's a flamethrower. Oh, and that's a gunner. Very easily tells of what the oh. hell he does. Or what that, they both do. I know what that... That's a rattling gun. Yep. And it seems that Kruber got himself killed. Bloody heck. And yeah, we can't go back there, so we just have to move on. Oh, well, that's go that's going to lose us the Grim War. I think. Yeah, we lost it, but that also means we get our maximum health back. You look pleasant. Okay. And there, there always seems to be a chaos where we are standing outside here. Right. Okay. Uh, Someone looks more like a chaos cultist. Uh, oh, that's a chaos warrior. Yeah, the big one. Yep, yep. Those ones are just cultists. Yeah, pack master. Yeah, the, these sneaky guys will just try and drag you away. Yep. Wait, <laughs> even if the way, even if the model doesn't always cooperate. Does that mean that there's? Uh, Rats as well. Yeah, no, they're more. Uh, you know, they're more supposed to be the uh, animal masters of the Skaven. Yeah, has why I also about the wolf rats. Uh, those aren't in this, no. Probably for the best. Okay. Also, you know, it is generally safe to revive allies even in the middle of a bench because you, your character will just auto defend whilst you're doing that. Revolting. So yeah, that will give you an opening to re revive your allies in in the middle of combat. Okay. No. At last we arrive. What Set Marcus free. The and now we're at the finale here. So, this should still this should only be take another five minutes or so. It is supposed to see Sigma with a beard. And yeah, the door is locked and the dinner bell has been rung. 
and someone is trying to join again. Uh, when you're trying to join a game and you're, the character that you're you've play yeah, that you're using isn't used, you can choose to swap to a different one, or you can choose to yeah not connect. In the meantime, though, uh, we've got guests. Oh, and that's Storm Worman. Worman? Worman. <laughs> oh, dead me. Yep, there's a flamethrower somewhere. Oh. Oh, scavians are so nasty. Yep. They're uh, creeping all, but I. Yeah. They're busy with the people I can see myself fighting a lot. Almost got. Yeah, trust people. You never want to be a slave on the Skaven Empire. You do. Oh. Yeah, because a slave that can't work anymore becomes food. Oh, yeah. And that Ooh, is why. Experiment. That's why rattling gunners are dangerous. If they catch you out in the open, you're getting perforated. And yeah, this is only uh -oh. the second diff level of difficulty. So... <laughs> yeah, on the higher ones, I'm pretty sure a single enemy, you know, a single well-placed rat gun can just take out an entire squad. Okay. We've got that area covered. Are there any specials trying to sneak in? Also, in the meantime, whilst we're doing this, that's happening. And yes, this is the place from the trailer. Okay. And now something else starts. Because the thing is freaking rising up. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, rat! Oh, that's yeah. what he means by fire rat. A wolf, fly, wolf oh. fire team. That's berserkers. And yeah, it, what they do is very clear. And <laughs> yeah, I just took that thing's head up in one shot. That's why <laughs> building crits can be very powerful. Oh, and <laughs> he's just corner camping there. <laughs> oh, there's a deer somewhere. Oh, there it is. But yeah, if, if if you can get a headshot off with these things, it's a kill on most things. Body shots less so. Oh. Plague monks. Yeah, the plague monks are the berserker version of the Skaven. Okay, must have been another rattling gun somewhere. And yeah, we're almost done since this thing is almost at its apex. Oh, get up on your feet. Oh. Uh, out of ammo. And there we go. Yeah, that was totally not intended, but it does help a lot. And... Yeah, just get out of here, because we enter and exit every level through these gates. Out of one... Don't ask me why there was one hidden under a, a temple like that. Oh, hello. Achievement unlocked Virtuoso? What's that supposed to mean? I know what it... I know what the word means, but what is that achievement for? <laughs> Good question. I only learned what that word means recently. Anyways. Yep, mission summary, we get experience based on the difficulty, how many people got to the exit alive, and extra stuff like loot dice. Uh, loot dice are found randomly in chests uh, or such, or are dropped by monsters like the uh, rat, uh, ogre, or storm fiend, basically the big beasts. And yeah, depending on how much you get, you get a, a chest of varying uh, value, and of course, <laughs> bragging rights check at the end. And then they actually get... Well, I got the most kills, but I didn't kill the most specials. 
But yeah. And uh, let's see the planks. There we go. Uh, this band party. And yeah, that's what at this that's what at this uh, at the center of the room here. That's where you can open up your loot packs. You can't actually buy these with actual money, so that's also a big ass plus. So yeah, let's open one up. This one's just a basic one. There we go. And yeah, of course the the, the color shows what the, the rarity is and such. With yellow being normal, green being uncommon, blue being rare, and then there's orange and red as well. I haven't gotten my hands on a single red though. But yeah, this game is definitely going. We're going to stream this eventually, even if just on the weekends for just shits and giggles. <laughs> okay, but that's taken long enough. So moving on, how long has that taken? <laughs> okay, that took about that. That took an hour. Okay, less Oops. probably so, but still, that that took a bit more than a half an hour. So let's just move on to the third game and hurry up with this <laughs> before we hit three hours again. Yeah, and I gotta go check on my food quickly then. Okay. In the meantime, starting this up, screen sharing to you. And yeah, this game I've heard a thing or two about, but I've not actually played myself. And yeah, this is Warlock Master of the Arcane. Basically, all I know of this game is that it's supposed to be a sort of a civilization, but magic game. So, let's see. Um, I played a few strategy games in my time. Difficulty, victory task, defeat the great mages, defeat an avatar, cast a unity spell, capture 50% of holy grounds. Defeat the jammers? That must be a DLC thing, I guess. Uh, let's go with relaxed, because we're probably... <laughs> What is a strategy game? Okay, at the very least, I'm going to go with casual then, so the game doesn't insult me. <laughs> uh, check these as well. Challenging. I cringe not from a challenge. And impossible. I'm a strategy the genius. Bring on your worst. <laughs> yeah, game mode Armageddon. That, that can be good. Okay, moving on. And yeah, like I thought... Great land. Yeah, this is a very... Normally I wouldn't you know, stream this type of game because, yeah, Civilization has a reputation all of its own. So games that are similar to it are, yeah, going to be have similar th you know, <laughs> things going on and just how addicting they can get of just one more round. Let's see. Mirab <laughs> Mirabus the Hat? <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to chime a bit earlier on this one. Uh, let's see. The head of the Mages Guild, Merelbus Cards, more often known as the Hat, is famous for his unchallenged leadership of the Council of Great Mages. That alone speaks highly of him, for such a post is envied by all and mo uh, only the most powerful and wisest of mages, a master of both magic and diplomacy, could keep such a position for any length of time. But Morelbus seems so easily to get what he wants with such elegant simplicity that other mages simply call him the Hit. From the overall description of everything by Master Alphys Bumblegate. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what that's supposed to imply. Uh, can we. We can customize things. Okay. Mana vaults. Casting speeds. Okay, just traits and everything. Uh, starting race. Arethi Elves, Humans, Monsters, yeah. Undead. Hmm? Oh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, heard, were you bragging? No. Um, what's sure. This? Fa oh, Faction Color. Regenerated. Can we choose of anyone else, or is just this the basic character or something? It says Customize. Middle, so... Should be able to switch. Yeah, uh, but... Uh, yeah, to grade mage selection. That does make it sound that there's supposed to be more here, but okay. Uh, let's let's just go with pre-generated. We have more fastest casting speed and more mana. We can also summon imps or cast a lesser fireball. Okay. 
It could be one of those games where you unlock uh, the nobles. Uh, nope, mages, I mean. Greetings, my lord. This is the main screen of the game. Here you can see the resources of your domain, the mini map of the world, and your capital. From here, you can also open the research window, the spell book, enter your capital, and command your troops. Okay, yeah, very, very you civilization. A request, my lord. So, with this one, we actually start with a city already instead of having to settle one. Okay, uh, nice the voice actor. Research my spell. Lord, you have opened the research window. Here you can choose a spell to research. Choose wisely and consider the information that appears when you hover the cursor over each spell's icon. Okay. Is he trying to mimic uh, Sean Connery? Yeah, it sounds a bit like that, but let's see. Uh, fireball wind walking grants a, a unit wind walking which allows it to traverse tough terrains without per penalty. Okay. Uh, just a death bolt, a shadow bolt, frost weapon enchant. All attacks of the target inflict additional elemental. Yeah, it, it. I'd heard stuff like this, but this game is like Civilization, but with much more of a focus on combat. And yeah, let's go with healing here, because yeah, healing is always good to have, and it is the easiest to make or the, the fastest. In the city view, you can rename your city. Switch between them and select which buildings to construct and which units to recruit. Okay, um, let's go with the farm. It's okay, we need to place those down. And tiles have effects. That's always nice. Because, yeah, yeah. It makes sense to put a farm on grassy fields where it's a bit more, you know, fertile. Yeah, and in Civ games, it's always good to go for food early on since food determines how fast the city grows. And a new quest. My lord, you have received the first humble request for your assistance. You may agree to grant it, or you may refuse. But do consider who is asking. It is unwise to refuse quests offered by the gods. They may become quite angry if you refuse, and even more angry if you fail to complete a task. Okay. Uh, but make, on, sure, get away with it. make sure. Make uh, sure before you refuse to make a double check if it's a god you're accepting from. Yeah, and this window is refusing to go. No. Come on. No, I, I think. Okay, it wasn't reacting because it was showing something else, I think. Uh, oh, oh, I, I think I know what it. it uh, I'm guessing it was showing the quest stuff behind it, which took priority. So I couldn't click that away without closing the quest stuff. Um, oh. So let's just let's hope that it wasn't. Uh, you have opened the diplomacy screen. From here, you can enter negotiations with other great mages who you have encountered. With them, you may offer trade, make peace, or non-aggression packs, declare war, and so on. Also note the Circle of Gods, which shows you how you yourself and the other great mages stand with the gods of Ardania. To improve the relationship with a god, you may complete his or her quests. Improving these relationships will allow you to gain new spells, and hire his or her servants. Uh, yeah, let, let's hope that that quest that was on offer wasn't from one of the gods. Okay, uh, assign unit like orders. Okay, we've got some rogues and we've got some hunters. So... Okay, left click and left click. How you, you guys, people can walk quite a distance. Okay. And, you guess they take yeah. uh, on a scouting role? Okay, I can see there. The, uh, over here it shows how far they can walk. Four spaces is actually quite a lot. So yeah, th this game is definitely meant more for to get on with it and find each other and start killing. Oh, speaking of killing. 
Monster eating spiders. Probably, yeah, we probably could have been better off if we <laughs> stood a bit farther away from these things because those are going to eat and them now. And the heck is that? Okay. A magic source, I think. You may finish your <laughs> turn by pressing the end turn button at the bottom of the screen, or simply by pressing the enter key. A uh, new unit is available. Warriors can be recruited. Okay. Just a bit of pro research progress. Uh, yeah. No, they, they still fight back, but... Yeah, they took a big, big a loss there. Of hexes a unit can travel in a turn depends on the movement type of the unit, its number of movement points, and the terrain type over which it is traveling. Flying units may cross almost any terrain without hindrance. Most landbound units can cross the seas on ships, provided you have built a harbor in one of your cities. If a unit has spent all of its movement points, it cannot move further or attack that turn. Yeah, Note what we already can... found out. Let's see, what is you the magic notes? A request, my lord. Okay, a quest uh, f to build a farm from the advisor. Okay, simple enough. That's already being built. Um, let's send you a bit for it. We're in a pretty good position here. We can only get attacked by land from one by general side. And I think those are areas you want to build things on top. <laughs> yeah. It does say certain special buildings can be constructed on this resource if it falls inside the city's boundaries. And that's some bears over there. Let's actually move towards these forests, because forests generally tend to give defensive bonuses. Uh, for now, let's also move you lots into the forest as well, and deal with the rest of these. Okay. And now it's just a spawner left. I probably should have moved in on that. In turn... Bears coming in. Uh, yeah. Your units can explore new territories, raise enemy buildings in the lairs of terrifying monsters, and gather loot from lost trade caravans and wrecked trade ships. Okay. Do you need something, uh, This game does show quite a bit of potential. Uh, can we see how far these, these can walk or anything? Just unselect them. No, we can't see. Well, they have spent all of their movement, so we can't see now. Uh, bear then. Let's let's just pull back for a while. Loot some cash from that. And... Okay, still three movements. Okay. And our borders have expanded. Nice. Okay. Now, let's move you back as well, <laughs> run away from the bears. And our farm has been constructed. To construct a building, choose one from the list of buildings and point to a hex where you wish to construct it. Remember that you may construct buildings only inside your city's boundaries and that construction is possible only if you have enough resources, sufficient population, and a suitable free hex. Some buildings also require other buildings to be erected first, or the presence of a local resource, such as gold or donkeys. Hmm. Thinking on it, I don't actually know if the other Civilization games have really had tutorials, or at least I haven't hadn't seen any. Hmm. And you were going to say? Moment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just eating. Uh, yeah, I just see. said donkeys with a question mark. <laughs> okay, rogues guild plus two gold, which of course is always useful, and we definitely don't want to go into the red. That unlocks rogues, cutthroats, and tax officers. Uh, Rangers Guild unlocks Hunters and Rangers. Smithy, okay, can give the perk 
Yeah, a fine armor. It is required for mechanics yield and barracks. Granary, harbor. Hmm. Let's start with the rogues guild. It's okay. We, that can be placed anywhere basically because there's nothing here to get a a bonus with that. Uh, peasant settlers can be recruited in the city. Okay. Oh yeah, to we make new the... cities. In order to yeah. hire a unit, you must first have built the requisite structures, and you must possess sufficient resources. Yep. So let's make ourselves some warriors because we've got bears incoming. <laughs> Which, if they get to the city, is going to be bad news. Evaded by bears. To attack an enemy, your unit must be within striking distance. When you move your mouse cursor over a potential target, the battle prediction window will display. This allows you to consider the probable outcome of the attack. Yeah, we saw that earlier, though I didn't point it much attention to it. Let's see, quest completed. And Where they just need go? some orders. Okay, rogues, get onto the hills. Okay, that's not giving us any sight. And yeah, these require two movements to move over. So, let's move you there. Okay, the bears have just stayed there. It's a desert over there. Okay, you've killed the dangerous wild creatures. Where, where, where did that quest come from? <laughs> Oh well, free gold. Your units may capture cities. To capture a city, you must defeat any unit in the city's castle, defeat the castle itself, and then enter it with one of your units. Okay, pretty typical stuff. Um, is there a way to heal these? Oh, plus 50 death magic damage, okay. Oh, okay, rest. There we go. That fills them up to max again. You as well. That uses up everything that they have. Oop. Congratulations! Yeah. You have successfully researched a new spell, my lord. That first noise, that I recognized that one. That seemed in Age of Mythology as well. Okay, oh, we've got the healing spell. So let's see. Clean the land. Restore any landscape to its original state. Okay. Works on contaminated lands. Um, let's get... Let's get this wind walk. Actually, uh, where can we... Can we change that somewhere? Uh, over here. Uh, let's... Let's get the frost weapons instead, since that is the quickest at the moment. Yeah, and I think your warriors are done, or... Are they just standing there in the city? Yeah, they're just standing there. <laughs> okay, come along. Uh, assign orders. The bears are still there. Okay. And, okay, the bears can move three spaces, it shows us. Uh, plus 50% forester. Oh, does that actually mean that... Yeah, bears are forest creatures. Of course, they're going to have an advantage in the forest. <laughs> oh. But we'll be dealing about 12 damage. We're, we'll, be doing, we'll be dealing 10, but we'll be receiving 7. Uh, yeah, the combat is a lot deeper with this. And, oh, that is not a lot. Oh, okay, now it's... The health bar didn't seem to adjust on that. Okay, but we can still pester them from the a distance like this. Uh, we might lose the rogues, but at the very yeah, maybe, least... Maybe you should shut them first. Yeah, that, yeah, that would have been a, a, big, a better idea, actually. <laughs> because the, 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 less unit, the less strength that a unit has, similar in like you know, war groove, uh, the less units there are in a group, the less damage they will actually deal. So, yeah, that would have been a lot smarter. <laughs> yeah. Should we ever stream this? You're gonna need me. 
Yeah, every do. Oh, it's retreating. In their travels, your troops may find portals to other worlds. To enter a portal, simply send a unit to its hex. But I must warn you, my lord, that other worlds can be very dangerous places indeed. You had better have quite an army, or first send in a recon force. I would recommend a low-level unit, or even a summoned troop. Someone that won't be sorely missed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me more about how you do not care for me. I, I like how the the borders expanded just completely all around instead of just one square. This, this really is meant to be a lot of a, a lot faster than the Civ games. This is good and actually increase its uh, streamability. Yeah. Okay, we can select a perk now because these guys leveled up. Let's see, defense bonus on rugged terrain, plus 25 missile. Oh, that's a resistance, so defense against missile. And more damage. Let's go with more damage on these guys. And yeah, we're all we're already almost two hours. So maybe we'll have to cut today short by one game. Or yeah, we'll have to cut this one best. short. We, we've, I, I think we've got uh, a good we should... wait, wait, what? Yeah, I think over this is only a small taste of this game. But yeah, we've already sussed out the basics of it. It is basically Civ, but with more magic, more focus on combat, and a lot more, a lot faster. Yeah, it... I could see a stream this if it is a faster version of Civ. Okay. No, that... wait, I just realized. Does this game have story? Uh, not really, but this could be a weekend thing, or maybe if we find someone else who likes it, uh, or it has it to play it as well. And ancient ruins, okay. Oops, treasure, and more bears, <laughs> of course. And donkeys. <clears throat> um, okay. We uh, once again, I really should just try and get a better chair at some point but uh, yeah the, the choice uh, is yours do we continue do we give this game the rest of its time which is uh, 10 minutes or do we keep going with this but call the stream after this one uh, I think we could go for uh, the other game okay. since we, we have shown very much what this has to offer it is still interesting, and yeah, I I do I have played some of these old game, Civ games, but the fact that it that things can just take so freaking long is one of the things against it. I would say, like there are some people, of course, who enjoy that sort of game, thing, but yeah, me less so with that. So a faster version of Civ that could get very interesting. For now, though. Let's yeah. move on to the last game, to at least show that it off as well. And this one I've heard of quite a bit as well, as a very high quality product. So stream share it to the gear, and then wait for OBS to catch it. Okay, come on, you worked earlier. Come on, OBS. It is set as the display, right? Yes, it is. I can see it. Okay, there we go. For some reason, it didn't pick up the intro. But yes, this is Wasteland 2, Director's Cut. Uh, I don't know too much about the Wasteland series, other than it's supposed to be uh, a bit of a rival to the Fallout games, the original Fallout games. So let's not waste too much time. Uh, and get started on this. Uh, squad creation. Do you want to start the game with a default ranger squad or create your own? Let's use a default. We've that was got... a pleasant person. Yeah, we've got Pilfs, the combat medic. We've got Bear, the hunter. Slick, the negotiator. And Cold Eye, the sniper. Okay. Um, Supreme jerk. 
if you're already a hero of the wasteland and have known uh, have been known to make raiders pee themselves just by looking at them this is your setting but don't say we didn't warn you <laughs> okay if you've been around the block a few times and you think wiping your weights in gila uh, or whipping your uh, weights in gila, uh, gila monitors counts as light exercise this is probably the setting you want if you've had some experience in the wastes or places like it and you know which end of the mason cannon to point at the enemy this is the setting for you and then we have rookie the wasteland is a dangerous place for the uninitiated choose this setting if you consider yourself a novice a tenderfoot or if this is in fact your first <laughs> your first barbecue i actually don't have too many not too much experience with i believe this game is more considered turn-based you know, rpg or strategy RPG. So let's actually give it a shot at that. Because I know I know practically nothing about this series. But that Same. it's supposed to be good and well fallout ish. Bit odd for the credits to be at the start. Or is this a. Yeah, I doubt it would be a joke of. Oh, you're a rookie? Then we'll give you these at the start, since you probably won't get it to the end. The only, necessary, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. General Vargas. What comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it? Or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. Now, Everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals, They've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name a proud name, the Desert Rangers. Now, Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless, and I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. Nor will Audio seems a bit desynced. Vain or unavenged. I recognize that voice. I believe this game was crowdfunded. Thank you, recruits. And also, kudos to actually using actors. Yeah. 
Let's see, a stiff bearded old man wearing a hard-worn ranger uniform and a battered old cowboy, uh, cowboy hat, General Vargas, uh, walks with a cane, but he's not helpless. He wears a, per a pearl-handled revolver on his hip, and uh, there are a lot of notches on the barrel. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate, too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. Okay. All right. So down here, we're going to get uh, <clears throat> dialogue options. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower. And his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. Okay. Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight-up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. Okay, sounds like this... <clears throat> sounds like Ace could have just gotten uh, himself uh, killed by uh, yeah, random chance. Or there could be someone... Uh, trying to prevent people from looking into this signal. Possibly. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers, specifically. It said it was coming for us. Yeah, definitely someone who wouldn't want to be tracked. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. Also, I'm noticing something here. Smart ass, hard ass, and kiss ass. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I noticed that earlier. Oh, oh, we can actually change who we are asking as. Okay. That is going to come into effect at points, probably. I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. Okay, and what's about this logbook? I don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. Okay. The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found, and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Okay. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. Okay, that's useful. Uh, not Ice. sure what this area might be. Hmm. There you go. Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Okay, that puts us, that gives us a location, Arizona. Uh, still no idea of where the hell that is, though. <laughs> Probably kind of California. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a desert ranger, and we won't let you in. Um, here we are. I'm pretty sure Arizona is his own state. Uh, yes, that tells more of how uh, little I know about geography. And yeah, okay, that I remember it wrong. <laughs> okay, we have hard ass option, we have kiss ass option, and smart ass option. Uh, please, sir, if you're sending us after Ace's killer, then you've already decided we're worthy. Why not let us in? <laughs> <laughs> Kiss an ass already, huh? 
<laughs> well, some folks in the waste can be persuaded that way. Not everyone. I've been buttered up by the best of them, so I'm wise to those tricks. You get through our doors with deeds, not words, recruits. Good try, though. <laughs> Good luck out there, recruits. Okay. Um, nice animation, too, as well, here. Okay. Uh, okay, I, the one I have selected as leader is the one who will be moving, and the rest will just follow after. Uh, let's lead with the hunter. It looks what is this here? Logbook. Yeah, that, that is probably like a radio. Or... Possibly? Let's see, the logbook again, is your guide. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I was saying, again, I'm impressed to have live action scenes for... No, we have animation and plenty of voice actors, but live action used to be sort of common, then in as quick you also died out for video yeah. games, that is. Uh, full motion video... <clears throat> Pardon? Full motion video uh, used to be quite a thing in the 90s and such, and, well, it was often cheesy as all hell, but it was still fun. Yeah, Red Alert is a good example. Yeah. And uh, Tiberian Sun. Okay, that's just a pop up for the training stuff. Uh, okay, this is just a cliff here. Can I move the camera around more, or is it stuck at this angle? It kind of kind of reminds me of what they originally planned uh, one of uh, Fallout 3 to be in this earlier version before it got cancelled and. Took many more years before it got made. Yeah, I heard that the original oh, conversation, uh, QE, and moving around. Okay. Uh, that's for moving. Zoom, yes. Okay. Yeah, from what I heard, the original fall idea for Fallout 3 was to be isometric, just like its predecessors. Yep. Uh, like but this. yeah, we all know it, it became. Yeah, the three D one. Can over there for me? Think there's some water in there. Well, it was to be three D asymmetry like like this. The way back then it would be a bit more cruder. But then they went to be from seeing from behind or first person. Okay. We can look at these rocks, but we can't actually interact with them at we <laughs> Aberforth. Right? Okay, perception. An ordinary looking billy goat. <laughs> I wasn't trying to imitate the goat there, but just the word got stuck in my throat. Better seen than smelled. <laughs> yeah, we can look at these piles, but we can't in seem to interact with them. So we might need a shovel for that. So for now, let's just move to the wasteland. And go. Oh, that, that is quite a sight. Yeah. Oh, and we need... Okay. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Roger, Echo One. Just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little heads up on your water situation. If you've all got full canteens, you should have enough water to reach the place where Ace died with plenty to spare. But if you're going to go exploring, you'll want to fill up again at any oasis you can find. Okay. Remember, your main priority is to recover the repeater units Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Pool to install them. But we'll talk about that after you acquire the repeaters. We must, of course, bring Ace's killers to justice. But right now, that's secondary to discovering the location of that signal. Until now, okay. Woodson's been our dispatcher. But Ace's death made me realize that spent too many years in my office, walled off from the world, how it's changed it. I need to know what's going on out there, and I figure the best way to do that is to start listening to the people's problems. So, I've decided that from now on, I'll be the one fielding calls and talking in your ear when you head out into the waste. Okay, makes sense. Don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. <laughs> yeah, the boss listening in. Uh, so it's important to stay in radio contact with you? Contact with me here at the base. 
We get distress calls from all over our jurisdiction and sometimes beyond. Towns or farms or mines being attacked by raiders, mutant beasts, what have you. We field those calls here and then dispatch whichever team is closest to the problem. Which I get the feeling that's probably going to be us like 9 out of 10 times. 10-4 Echo-1, carry on. Ranger Command out. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll have to discover things as we go here. Very much like the original two uh, Fallout games. Uh, where do we... Okay, we have 60 water. Or from this, I'm guessing. Uh, but where the hell do we need to go to get there? Uh, actually, we already we got a view of the world map earlier, so we need to go east. When you leave a location and enter the wasteland, the game perspective will zoom out and show the world map. In this mode, your squad is represented by a Desert Ranger badge. Right-clicking will allow you to travel. Alternatively, you can access the world map screen and select a location you have already discovered to travel there automatically. To enter a location on the world map, left-click on them when you're ready, or when you are nearby. There are a number of things you, know, you can encounter on the world map. In addition to water and radiation, you can stumble upon both friendly and enemy random encounters, which will take you to a small special location to interact with characters and or do battle. You may, <coughs> pardon, you may even find hidden loot caches uh, from before the apocalypse and mysterious locations that few have ever seen. Um, our dormant skill determines your squads. A search radius on the world map while traveling, as well as its ability to avoid hostile random encounters. A good outdoorsman skill will be able to avoid dangerous enemies and discover new and hidden locations more easily. Okay, that's very useful. Nice. Uh, do we have anyone with that skill? Hmm. Okay, for now, let's just start moving east towards that... Uh, Okay, north, east and north a bit. Okay, I like how it's actually drawing a line as well. But, and that, that is how much distance, you know, how far away we can detect things. Okay. Always nice the more info you are given about things. And our... Oh. You see dangerous raiders approaching your position. We have a okay, 75% chance to escape them. Sometimes violence isn't the answer. Sometimes. Okay, we got away. I will get the combat into this eventually in the time that we've got. And oh, I wait. Yay. Yo, move away from that. Okay. What is this? Radiation. Radiation is a constant and deadly threat. Uh, while traveling on the world map, radiation is visible as large green clouds and denoted with a large radioactive icon. As you near an irradiated area, your Geiger counter will begin ticking. Entering a radioactive area will cause your squad to gradually take damage from the radiation. Each radiation cloud on the world map has a certain rating depicting, uh, depicted on its icon, with higher ratings doing more damage more quickly. I'm guessing eventually we'll get our, our hands on radiation proof suits that would protect us from that. Yeah, speak of the devil. Radiation damage can be reduced or eliminated with radiation suits, which are spe a special piece of equipment you can find. Not all radiation suits are created equal. Some provide more protection than others, and throughout the game you will gain access to better radiation suits that lets you explore more dangerous parts of the world. Uh, radiation suits come as a set, so you only need one for your entire squad. Okay, that that is very, very useful. Water. Water is a matter of life and death in the wasteland. As the squad travels on the world map, water is slowly consumed. When your water supplies run out, your squad will begin taking damage. Go too long without a drink and eventually characters will die of dehydration. To refill your canteens, look for hidden oases on the world map or visit a location where a water supply is such as a well or a tap. Most major settlements have a water supply. Okay. That's... Nope. <laughs> Speak of... I said that, uh, it appeared near you. <laughs> yeah, I, I overlooked it. My eyes were a bit uh, aimed at the nuclear threat. Let's see. Okay. Due east and a little bit south. Um, <laughs> okay, literally <laughs> X marks the spot. What is this, a pirate game now all of a sudden? <laughs> um... 
Have we been playing some? Okay. So the little base is like a one we arrived at the target. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. The folks that picked him up said it looked like he crawled there. Maybe you can find some tracks leading to where he was attacked. Copy? Copy. In for Echo One and check in immediately with any new info. Those repeater units are a top priority. Ranger Command out. I I don't know specifically what 10 4 means, but I believe it's like uh, understood. Find updates from time to time. You may pick up calls from other wastelands. Okay. Remember that to level up, you need to use the call button on the radio to contact headquarters and earn field promotions. Okay. So, hmm. As you look around at the sandy soil, you see crusty red patches of blood. Okay. I think I remember something. I think I recently heard that the whole copy and over is actually not used. Okay. If I remember right, I think it's a military myth that way too many believe that. I will double check that at some point. Just to make sure I'm not misunderstanding. Okay. There's nothing to there's nothing to distinguish this stretch of desert scrub from any other stretch of desert scrub, except for the blood. This is here. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's zoom out a bit. Okay, blood strain yeah. <clears throat> The blood trail is leading this way. Hello there. The trace of Ace's blood leads to a chain link enclosure. Rising from within it is a tall tower, uh, a tall radio tower. It's rusted struts moaning in the ever present wasteland winds. Hello there. Play in our backyard? You gotta pay. Fifteen scrap, or we'll break your faces. And my dog will eat your corpses. Okay, over to Slick. Let's see, we're not playing, we got a job to do and you're in the way. That will, eat, eat up. <clears throat> will obviously get us into combat. Uh, but your backyard is the ranger's front yard, so it cancels out, right? Let's see, very intimidating. The desert rangers are looking for men like you. For a small fee, I can call in and introduce you and your boys to General Vargas. <laughs> are we going to rip off the, <laughs> the, the muggers? Really? You do that? Man, this is great. <laughs> It'll be so much easier to get people to pay our tolls once we have badges. Here, take this scrap. We'll head to the Citadel now. Oh, they're going to shut me get the shot. They're going to get shot the fuck up and not with drugs like they want to. Let me mark my good think spot on your map. That's where I had the idea to set up here. Good thinks? I just hope we don't gonna regret this for... It'd be better if they actually get recruited. Uh, I find that very, very, very doubtful. I, I think at most we'll get told off by the general for <clears throat> for sending them there, but most likely is they're, go they're just going to get shot the hell up. Let's see. Uh, so we're going to ask you about it, I guess, so you can inform me that you just get rid of them. <laughs> Okay, just copy Echo One. Appreciate the update. Okay, so we can't tell them about them. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, now. <clears throat> Road is starting to act up. Near the creaking metal skeleton of the radio tower, you find the place where Ace began his last feudal crawl for home. Roofs and scratches in the dust show there was a desperate struggle here. Dried blood is soaked into the cracked yellow earth, like red rain. But blood isn't the only fluid that was spilled. It looks like one of the combatants was not human. Patches of black liquid are all around the tower, splattered among uh, Ace's blood like some kind of black and red abstract painting. Black blood. Mutants? Or... Machines? Oil? Either way, Can let's I take a look. Or something? 
Splattered with blood, this console is connected to the radio tower's transmitter with a cobbled together connection of wires. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. Oh. Well, let me tell you, know, you know, Matthias Law's. Yeah. You know, you Okay, a bunch of assholes. Let's see, a torn page from a ranger logbook. Only a few words illegible. Okay, gimme. And we get some experience from that. Uh, okay, I opens inventory. Can we... Okay. The page is smeared with oil and dirt, but some of it is still legible. August 10th. Fell in with a snake squeeze and, and seller from rail... No <clears throat> Rail nomads. Wanted ranger protection on his way to somewhere. Nice of him to share his water, but I wish the boring son of a... <laughs> would shut up. <laughs> okay, nothing too useful. Uh, that does tell us that the log was here. And then again, the ranger was here, and there's more of his blood here. Yeah, blood and oil mix in the sand. This must have been where Ace and his mysterious assailant duked it out. Let's hope it wasn't one of those robo scorpions that we saw at the in, at the start, at, at the menu. Oh, hello there. The leg is made of pla. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, a severed plastic leg lies on the ground, leaking an oily black liquid from torn hoses, tangled and caught on some narrow rock, half buried in the sun, uh, on uh, the sand. <clears throat> The lag is made of plastic and metal, scuffed and dented from hard use, and badly mangled at the, uh, at the severed knee joint. It looks like it was removed from the rest of the body by a shotgun blast. The stuff is puddled, so half congealed beneath the leg, and the metal bone visible through the hard plastic points towards the more dark patches leading up a nearby incline. Okay, so he's been... F yeah, he was attacked by machines. Oh, up this way. Let's swap to Bear. And let her lead. Okay. This guy lost a hell of a lot of blood going all the way around. Uh, if it weren't for the medical symbols, this would look like the, uh, the kind of cooler you take to the beach. <laughs> it contains some helpful items. Okay. Trauma kit and a medic pack. Okay. Uh, and oh, a shotgun. No, oh, it's a machine gun. Okay. Mark two Sven. Let's see. Mark yeah, Mark two Sven. Submachine gun point thirty eight caliber ammo of which we have seven. It has a clip of maximum twenty two. Okay. We don't have much of that ammo, so let's not use that. And where is the trap? Where does the trap? This way, it continues. To a cave. The dark mouth of a cave entrance stares back at you. Okay. Our sniper is going to be less useful in here. Uh, that's a big ass toad. Ooh, um, yeah, I think I can easily eat one of you. Okay. Uh, using items, you'll find many items in the wasteland, some of which can be used in the game world. To use the uh, <clears throat> to use these, you can either open your inventory, right click on the item, and then select use. Uh, before left clicking our target or you can assign it to your hotbar for quick access. Remember that most items can only be used on certain objects or characters. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> we can get a sneak attack in. Yep. And that's it's 30 minutes <laughs> just as we get into combat. So, okay, let's see. We have a maximum. Okay, we have AP. 
And okay, we're okay. Just AP, just like uh, the old XCOM and Silent Sentinels games. So how much would it, it could cost? Three AP to attack, so we can move one AP away. Then use this. There we go. Uh, pills, you. Oh no, we are out of. So we need to move to the next. It was pills with the crazy ass hair. Hey, the very old Fallout games also used AP. Yep. Or actually, I don't. There, there was action points. Yeah, they determined how many actions you could take during your turn. Uh, under pressure, nearby enemies are interfering with aiming. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. It's in his... Pills is up now. Next up is Bear. I was thinking maybe they all move at the same time, but no. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have a range on this. Up to five minutes. Critical hit minus 25. Okay, optimal is five minutes to... Uh, no, five minutes, meters. <laughs> okay. Um, You need four to shoot. You have how many... Oh, you have eight action points. Okay, that is a, a good amount. Um, let's see. Does each of these count as one meter? I'm guessing about. So... I think you can reach. We need to move back a bit. I, okay, it shows... Okay, on the bar here it shows where targets in your firing range are. So yeah, it is... It is about two meters per each of these. Yep. Come on. We don't have enough to attack again, so retreat instead. Then the sniper, who needs to be... Okay, f up. okay that's a, uh, it's a hunting rifle, not a sniper rifle. And hello there in the chat, uh, Atreus. Hi, how goes it? What's this game? This game is Wasteland 2, the director's cut. And you actually came at the worst possible timing because the timer for the half hour timer for this one ran out already. <laughs> and yeah, chat is fixed. It I I thought I had put the chat delay to zero, but no, it was the time until the message appears that I set to zero. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, move back a bit. And then attack. And also miss. Okay, it immediately goes over to Slick, who only has his knife, it seems. And, yeah, so he has to go up close. Oh, it, there's a red shirt. Okay, that's that probably shows how the range at which they can attack. I'll have to check if the... Come on. If the how guns have that you? similar. How are they missing? There we there go. There we go. Okay. Retreat a bit. And yeah, Wasteland 2 is an RPG, similar to like the uh, Fallout games, the original one, uh, first uh, two. two. Ilian? Yeah? This... I think they told you stole his weapon. Uh, actually, yeah, it seems he ate the freaking dagger. Okay. Right, oh. gonna kill it before he takes you next. There we go. And that gave us 25 experience. Now, let's get this it, thing. It, <laughs> it's the freaking knife. <laughs> uh, members only jackets. Uh, oh, junk stuff. Okay, take all of that. Wait. Oh, it ate a person. Yeah, this yeah. is the first. It ate a whole person. Okay, let's take a look at whatever this is here. Is that an ammo crate? This ranger store has been crudely spray painted on the side of this steel case. And, oh, there's the repeater units. Okay, that's first half of this done. But, yeah, that... We are already a bit over time. Uh, probably because of the Vermintides uh, a bit. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it really just... It really... Okay, mechanical... Me yeah, it really just keeps chatting over here, so... <laughs> if, I, if I eventually stream this, I will have to keep looking over here to read whatever is happening out. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. At the end of the trail of black oil and gouged earth, you find a dead machine slumped against a metal chest. 
Uh, at least you think it's a machine. It is certainly mechanical, a seven foot tall man shaped robot with metal and plastic legs, arms, torso, and head. All pockmarked with buckshot and covered in gashes that look like they were made by an axe. Oh, so Ace really. Ace went down fighting hard. Really? But there is something about the eyes of the thing that seem disturbingly human. Even dead and empty, they look like they have once contained a soul. In the mechanical man is a steel case, and several items scattered across the ground. Amid junked gears and spare parts, there is a hand-drawn map and a torn notebook page fluttering in the breeze. You recognize the paper. It's from the regulation logbook that every ranger is issued when he signs up. The desert rangers... Okay. You open the steel case and find what General Vargas told you to look for. Two repeater units, and you seem, they seem to be in working order. Now all I have to do is you know, go to them radio towers and hook them up. Okay, um, UI, oh, UI is customization, okay. I, I, I thought this was uh, to move around the, the, the frequency of this. Uh, okay, so we don't have to sync, we don't have to line it up with the original frequency. Okay, affirmative, found the repeaters and the logbook and a metal man. That robot it looks like it killed Ace and stole the repeaters and logbook. Well, I'll be goddamned. We haven't seen any synthetics around for almost 15 years. We better get a closer look at the tech. Near Captain might be able to tell us where it came from. See if you can grab a piece of it and bring it back to Mirror Captain the next time you're at the Citadel. Okay, we already got a part of it from uh, one of his legs. What is this synthetic? That is Mirror Captain's fancy word for smart robot. Calls them synthetic life forms or synths. Basically, any robot that can think for itself falls into the synth category. Plain old robots are dangerous enough. The ones that think for themselves are a nightmare. <laughs> Message received and understood, General. Sure, but our priority is still those repeaters. Now that you have them, I'm sending you on to complete Ace's mission, which was to attach him to the most powerful towers in Arizona so we can get a fix on mystery signal. One tower is at High Pool, the other is at the Ag Center. Sending you the coordinates now. Okay. I, I'd say that this is... Uh, yeah, th this looks like it could be a lot of fun. Probably a long-ass game as well, since yeah, it is like Fallout and such. Uh, but yeah, I, I could see us streaming this. Same, Probably with some hints here and there. Yeah, I can see us streaming this, and it seems to cooperate with Discord well for even I can read this damn well. <laughs> so, yeah. maybe I can supply with voice acting as well. Oh, oh wait. Okay. I just realized I don't need to put supply voice acting when it su supplies voice acting by itself a lot. Yeah, you, you could read out the stuff on the <clears throat> on the readout here, <laughs> whilst I focus on the stuff copy on, our, on our way, like that. Uh, yeah, well, the ones that aren't voice acted by the game already, but... Okay. <clears throat> Another good batch of games. So, yeah, Spa Warhammer 40k, Space Marine. Um, we could stream that. It it'll be a low priority, but we can definitely do that eventually. Yeah, and um, here sto the story is short, if I remember right. Yeah, it, is, it isn't the longest game, so that also works in its favor. And yeah, Vermintide 2 definitely will be streaming that, uh, possibly with other people. And Warlock Master of the Arcane. Yeah, we did cut it short, but it does look like a good game. I can, of course, say nothing about how well balanced it might be. But it, it does look more up my alley than the uh, original Civilization games. And yeah, this yeah, one, th this might be the first of the big RPG type games that we might eventually stream. Yeah, th this one would be interesting. Uh, so yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry for cutting it off uh, just as you show up, Atreus. Uh, <laughs> uh, we might, we might push these Sunday streams to later a bit since we are we do do them a lot earlier because it is Sunday, so we have a lot more free time on our hands. Um, but yeah, we can talk about that off stream after this. 
And so for now, yeah, a good batch. Thank you for showing up all the same. And uh, I'm tripping over my own tongue here. Uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And again, thank you, Atrius, for showing up. And oh, someone is someone else is streaming that I somewhat know. So I'll be raiding us to them possibly, because I I keep forgetting to set to raise people after streams. So yeah, uh, where was I? I think. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, dang it, lol caught the end again. All good. Have a good one, folks. Uh, you too. And be safe. Yeah, <laughs> Tuesday we'll be continuing with Dark Souls Three, but for now, let's find someone to raid. And open that browser because that has Twitch open. And let's see who might be on. Let's not have it auto play our previous. Okay, yeah, it's that guy. So, okay. Slash raids. This should work in the chatty program that I have. And then it's spark zero underscore. Uh, they are currently uh, streaming Dead by Daylight. So, yeah. Uh, have a look at them, see if there's some you know, thing. They, they are a nice guy from what I've been able to tell. And, yeah. If you know, on, <clears throat> Either way, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. See you, folks. <clears throat> and let's see. This should start any second. Not sure when specifically. Okay. And, yeah. Swap to the outro.